Hey y'all, this week's tip is something that I use all the time with Google Slides, and it's how I share my presentations on my website. It's how I share my presentations when I go to conferences, when I do workshops, and it's definitely something I would recommend for teachers to share their presentations in a way that works for students and a way that works inside Google Meet and Zoom. So here I am in one of my presentations. This is how to get Google certified. In order to publish to the web, this is a special link. It's not this link up here, it's a special link, and it's different than just clicking present. Because when I click this present button, it's gonna go full screen and I'm gonna lose everything else that's on my screen. But when I go to file, publish to the web, you'll see that there is a yellow publish button. You're gonna click that button and then you're gonna click okay to confirm. This is just making sure that you understand you are now publishing this, meaning it's public. Don't worry, unless you've got private information or something that shouldn't be shared or is not yours, you're okay. You're not gonna show up first in a Google search. Just click okay. And now it has been published. This is the unique link that is the publish to the web version. So notice there are two tabs. We're gonna talk about the link first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that link. I'm gonna do Command or Control C to copy. I'm gonna open a new tab and paste it so you can see what it looks like. So anytime you get a link that looks like this, it is most likely the publish to the web version. So I still have other tabs open, like my Google Meet. I still have my Google Classroom open or my gradebook or anything else that I need with this in the slide. So sharing this publish to the web version and using this in different places like Google Meet can give you more flexibility with what you see on your screen. So just to show you real quick that this is now in the same tab, which I can do, but I also kind of prefer to pull it out into its own window. So when I'm presenting, this is what I do. Now it kind of depends on what you're using this for, but we're gonna come back to this in just a second. The other thing I wanna show you is this second tab. This is the embed code. And so this is the code that I copy and paste in my website where you copy and paste your code. It's usually pretty obvious. You, all you have to do is copy and paste that. You don't have to understand the code or anything else like that. And then it's embedded on the page, which I do this a lot. You can choose the size. You can choose if you want it to auto advance. And if you want it to move on its own to loop, you can start it and restart it. Now, the other thing that's great about Publish to the Web, if I make a change to these slides, I don't have to republish. So if I catch... Um, an error or something like that, I can fix it. If someone's already looking at it, all they have to do is refresh and they will have the most updated version. So that's how you get that publish to the web link. All you do is go to file, publish to the web. Now let's come back to Google Meet and this works the same way in Zoom and in other places. So when you're choosing to present your screen, which is down here at the bottom, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So when I click on present, you can choose from these options. So like I said, I like to keep a clean window of everything I'm going to show during my presentation. And that is because there's a lot of things I need to see, but there's also things that I don't need my class to see at the same time. So when I choose to share a window, I will be able to select that clean window that has my presentation and anything else that I wish to show to my students. I'm going to click share. And now because of the way I am sharing my screen during this screen recording, you couldn't see it, but I do still have this on my screen. So I can resize it and share it the way that works for me while still seeing other things on my screen at the same time. So I just wanted to make sure everybody had a chance to see that. Again, if you go to file, publish to the web, you will find these options in Google Slides. If you like this tip, please click that like button, ring the bell and subscribe so that you get notified when new tips come out each Tuesday. Bye y'all.